Carroll went into Grimes last Friday needing a win to capture the district championship in a playoff spot, but they would have to go through the 11th ranked Mustangs first. Five weeks ago, five weeks ago, to the night, we told you guys, this is what it's about. Right? All that hard work in the preseason, all the stuff we did, weeks one through four, okay? we told you it would pay off now. Now's the time when big things happen, all right? Everything we've asked you to do to this point, you've taken care of business for five weeks. Right? Everything tonight is about this. It's about this. So when the drama comes, it's all starting over with this. All right? We got to get this and get to this. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. The Tigers' opening play showed promise as Colby Vincent connected with Luke Woosley for a big gain. Pass play. Deep pass. Near sideline. Caught. Across midfield by Woosley. Into opponent territory right off the bat. 31 yards for the Tigers. Yeah. The offense would find trouble finishing drives, but the Tigers' at defense was up to the task all night long. Just a few possessions in, the Tiger defense would cause the first turnover as Slade Siebenhaller would fall on a fumble. For the shotgun snap, there it is, and they give it to Brand again, and Brand is chased down from behind, and ball comes out, ball's loose, I think the Tigers have it, Slade Siebenhaller jumps on it. And the Tigers force the turnover after the gain on the play of about eight. The ball didn't bounce the Tigers' way all night, especially in this DCG punt, which would barely touch a Tiger gunner, giving the Mustangs a great field position late in the first half. That's dangerous. That hit, I think that hit the Tiger runner's foot. Yeah. And DCG comes up with it. And uh, I think it was Jack Trump, and he had no idea where the ball was at because he's running down the field trying yeah. to get in front of the returner. It would only take a few plays for the gray and red to score, but a block extra point, it would keep the score six to nothing. Brand, and Brand just hesitated, takes off and runs it into the end zone. The Tigers got a quick turnover to start the second half thanks to an interception by Torrey Feldman. Feldman looks for it, he's got it picked off, he eyed it the whole way, and he takes it at his own 28 yard line. Yeah. The good fortune didn't last long and on the ensuing drive, the Mustangs would force a turnover of their own, intercepting the Tigers and returning it deep into Carroll territory. It's blocked, Vincent deep throw, far sideline, it was overthrown and picked off. Heading back the other way, Gabe Jorgensen, his fourth pick of the season. He's got a chance to take it all the way. One man to beat, Johnston brings him down inside the 10. The only two scores on the night for Mustangs uh, were off at Tiger turnovers, and now it's time for Carroll to mount a comeback. The offense would still struggle to put points on the board, but Ty Nissen, Jack Troutman, and Chase Gladden were leading the Tiger D all night, keeping the Mustangs at just 14. Turn around and hand it off to Brandon. He is immediately hit. Ty Nissen comes in and brings him down a lot the four. Midway through the fourth, Carroll's offense finally found a spark as Vincent connected with Woosley again for a big gain. Down in 10, pump fake from Vincent, he'll throw over the middle, he's got Woosley open with a stiff arm across the 30, still on his feet, dragging a defender to the 25, best play of the night, comes at a big time for the Tigers. And Johnston, and Johnston, he's out running left side, he's got the first down and more to the 15, tackle down at the 14. Daggers would be faced with a fourth and goal later in the drive, and Carroll High's season was on the line. It's a give up the middle, and he walks into the end zone. Ryan Johnson puts the Tigers on the scoreboard. Touchdown, Tigers. 4-14 to play in the ballgame. Following another stop on defense, Carroll would get a shot, but the comeback was too late, and Carroll's season would come to an end, finishing the season 5-4. And that will end it. It's an interception from Dawson Lego, his third of the season. The throw is a bit high. And DCG will win the district tonight after that interception thrown.
Stay tuned following these ads to find out where we will be for week one of the high school football playoffs. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Next week, we will be featuring the number one team in eight-man as the Ottoman Wheelers host at Harris Lake Park. The Wheelers are just two wins away from the Dome.